Question number four, David Bennett. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my question is to the Prime Minister. What were the objectives of the Prime Minister's recent job summit, and is he satisfied that it was a successful event? The Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, the Prime Minister's job summit was designed to be a forum for generating new ideas for maintaining and creating jobs during this recession. The event was a success. It brought together more than 200 representatives from businesses, unions, local authorities, community organisations and government. The participants demonstrated a serious commitment to working together to protect and create jobs. The result of their working session was a list of ideas out of which the summit selected its top 20. Yeah. David Bennett. Mr Speaker, supplementary question. How will the government respond to the ideas generated by the job summit? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, uh, the government will respond positively. We're going, having a very thorough look at the 20 ideas that the summit uh, chose, fleshing them out and looking, looking for whether those, idea, those ideas can be properly costed and implemented and weighing them up against other budget proposals. Uh, we have committed to continuing discussion about these ideas with those who propose them. The Hon. David Cunliffe. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, what were the net number of jobs created in the week of the Jobs Summit and since, given the 180 jobs lost at Sea Lord, the 120 jobs lost at Irwins and Wellsford, 70 at GE Money and 29 at CWF Hamilton? And can he confirm how many job losses have been announced in the three days since the Jobs Summit? The Hon. So Bill English may answer one of those questions. Mr Speaker, I think the uh, member seems to misunderstand how an economy works. Of course, of course a discussion about what the government can do uh, to prevent the loss of jobs and to create new jobs does not automatically uh, head off decisions that may have already been made by the summit. Uh, most, just about everybody there, I think, recognises the huge challenge of dealing with sharply rising unemployment in New Zealand. And the member can go around saying, well, it should have stopped this and should have stopped that. Uh, the best thing we can do for all those people who have actually now lost their jobs is take every possible step to give them confidence that at some stage they will be able to get another job. David Bennett. Question. Mr Speaker, supplementary question. What reports has the Prime Minister received about participants' views on the job summit? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, uh, I have received one report from a former member of the House one Ms Lila Harray, who, Honourable Lila Harray from the National Distribution Union, uh, who said, I think it will certainly achieve something. I think it already has, it has brought a bit of a new approach to looking at what is a fast-moving and changing environment. Uh, sitting through the summit, I found it difficult to imagine the party under Helen Clark really taking a risk like that, which was to give a group of people an open brief in a public way to propose some solutions. The Honourable David Cunliffe. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Order. The Honourable David Cunliffe. Mr Speaker, speaking of former members, what is the government going to do to ensure that banks play their role in helping households and businesses through the recession? As outlined by Dr Alan Bollard when he stated they've profited from the good times in this economy and we expect them to be there for the tough times too. And is he concerned about reports from the New Zealand business community who are finding it more difficult to obtain commercial credit than previously and potentially more difficult than their Australian competitors? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, yes, I am concerned about any reports that credit uh, could be more difficult to uh, obtain. If the, at, at the Jobs Summit there was in fact a vigorous uh, public discussion between banks and others interested in their policies, and the banks, to their credit, have made some proposals about uh, how they can work with government to alleviate a situation which could be potentially quite damaging in New Zealand. But as the member will know, in a recession, some businesses actually are just less credit worthy, and that's one reason they may find it harder to get credit. The Honourable Jim Anderson. Mr. Speaker, is the government seriously considering a cycle way? as a strategic answer to the greatest financial crisis the world has faced since the Great Depression? Uh, and if so, 
Has it given consideration, given its disinvestment in rail, to turning the railway system in New Zealand into a cycle track so that everyone can join in? The Honourable Bill English. <laughs> The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, uh, no. We had hoped to be able to uh, make use of the member's job machine, but it failed to produce jobs even in a period when the economy was growing. 